Not far from Shanghai is one of my favorite villages in all of China. It is unspoiled and peaceful here. No cars, no motorcycles, not even bikes. This is the old town of Wuzhen. Just like Venice, everywhere you go, there's water. To a lot of Chinese people, water is money. Water is wealth and prosperity. Without water, you cannot survive. Without water, you cannot move around. This waterway is very important for the local people. People have been living in this old water town for over 1,300 years. You see all these roofs, you see the bridges, they're all very, very old. Living around here is such a leisure place. Ah, uh, this is neighborhood, neighborhood here. Look at that, beautiful. This stone bridge is called Bridge of the Righteousness. Look and tell from the design, this is old. Look at the stone, over a thousand year old bridge. Isn't it amazing? Ni hao. Ah, ni hao. You know why I like this place? This place still retains the ancient charm, not too commercialized. And a lot of people still live here. For over 1,300 years, Wuzhen has been very, very important in terms of commerce because this is the crossroad along the Grand Canal, connecting the north and the south. And that means a lot of the merchants, a lot of the goods and services are passing through Wuzhen. This is the architectural style and this is the roof design, particularly in the central part of China, around uh, Shanghai, the city of Shanghai. Now it's time for me to move on, to get up and maybe check out the local shops. Ah. These bridges connect both sides of the village. Look at the tile behind me. This is one of the four main streets in the city of Wuzhen. There are four of these. It's called Main Street. It's a very, very narrow street. We got all these old structure, wood structure. This must have been here for about 300 years. This is the local fabric dyeing factory here. Look at this, the design. Huh? Typical of the local design. Love it. I'm going to check it out on the other side. This is where they do the dyeing. And different liquid, different chemicals, different color, and different pattern. This is putting a paste and a pattern on the fabric. They can create different patterns by using different design. Ah, this is another old pattern. You can tell that this is definitely antique. Been using it for years, and it's almost peeling off on the edge. And here is another one. Here is another one, you can tell it's also peeling off. The fabric is enchanting, and so are the canals. But there are two more reasons I love to visit Wuzhen. Good food and old friends. No, no, no. Ah, go, 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 go. Ah, very happy, very happy. Every time I come to Wuzhen, I always come to see my good friend, Mr. Wong. Today, uh, Mr. Wong actually uh, prepared a wonderful home-cooked meal for me. Ah, hi, one more. This is Hun Tun. Ah, Hun Tun. Now, let's quite a one. This is a uh, sweet potato, and this is a uh, side pork with bamboo soup. Wow, look at that. This is very famous steamed rice cake. This is called Ding Seng Gao. During the Song Dynasty, Nan Song, Song Dynasty, the local resident actually make a lot, prepare a lot of these for the army to fight, to protect themselves. So that's called Ding Seng Gao, is to win the war. Uh, this is one ton soup with seaweed and the broth. 
It's all homemade. This is eel, fresh eel. Mm. You can tell it's home cooked meal. All of these are local specialties. Wild vegetable, bamboo shoot grown around here. Local celery. Let me try the one time. I have tried every single dish already. This is the last I'm gonna try. Juicy, succulent, delicious. You know, simple home cooked meal. Everything is local. But you know what? Delicious. Home cooked meal at its best. Mr. Wong and Mrs. Wong have been living here for 35 years. Every time I come over here, I visit them. They prepare this wonderful home-cooked meal for me. Every time, it tastes just as good as last time. 